เอาไปขี่กี้ This new sport is called kinball, where three teams compete on the same court with mixed gender participation. The focus of the sport revolves around a giant inflatable ball with a diameter of 1.22 meters. The object of the game is to score more points than the other teams to win the game. The goal is to catch and control the ball before it touches the ground. If one team fails to catch the ball or commits a foul, the other two teams earn points. This is a game that requires both intelligence and strength. Kimball requires a high degree of uh, participation. All teammates uh, has to do the attack and the defense together, so that uh, all the players can enjoy playing in the game. The Hong Kong Kimball Association received funding from the Leisure and Cultural Services Department's pilot scheme on subvention for new sports to organize a free Kimball Experience Day, allowing citizens to enjoy the fun of the game. With the support of such funding, the association promotes kinball at schools, with the hope that students can learn interpersonal skills via playing the sport. Kinball has three important elements, including respect, inclusion, and teamwork. Okay, so residents can learn how to express their ideas, and also can learn how to work and respect to each other. And some teachers tell me. Uh, the student can also enhance their communication skill after they play kimball. Pickleball is among the recipients of the funding from the pilot scheme. The sport combines the skills of badminton, tennis, and table tennis, and people with disabilities can play it too. This game is suitable for kids to elderly. It's easy to handle. Uh, you can play fast or slow. It depends on your own skill. The Pickleball Association of Hong Kong, China, with the support of the funding, has launched a foundation certificate course to recruit new players and promote inclusivity. The pilot scheme provides funding to local sports organizations to promote new sports activities, with the aim of providing more choices for citizens and encouraging their participation in sports. Each successful application would be offered a maximum of one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, or eighty-five percent of the total eligible expenditure of individual activity, whichever is lower. In this financial year. About 330 programs will be organized by 21 suspended sport organizations for more than 12,000 people to join under the pilot scheme. Those interested in applying for next year's funding for the pilot scheme may do so in early 2024.